Alright guys, so I was cleaning snakes last night and I forgot to close one cage and look what I found when I walked in here. So I had stuck her head in here and she crawled into the lower cage to Nate Footer and I left last night or yesterday to go watch the game and come back this morning and there she is parked underneath my incubator so she had like free roam of the entire house this door was partially open for ventilation and here she is So this snake, last time I measured her, she was probably in the, I think she was just a little over 16 feet, and I don't know how much she weighs, I'd say maybe 150 pounds, could be more than that, I don't know, but, um, you know, I don't know if this snake stretched out all the way, if she cruised the house, if she did cruise the house, I didn't notice anything turned over or anything uh, upset because usually when they do cruise it looks like a burglar broke into the house because they dump everything over and turn everything over but this snake chose like the smallest uh, most confined area it could find and uh, coiled up in there so Um, I used to keep this girl in this room all to herself and rare, rarely did I ever see her completely stretched out. It was not that often at all. Okay, so got the camera on a tripod. I'm going to try to drag her out and put her back into her cage. So it shouldn't be too hard with this, with this animal. There you go, come on. Go on. Get in there. Generally, when these, when I've uh, found my snakes loose in the house, most of the time I find them coiled up in spots like that. It's not that often you see them cruising. The ones that cruise a lot are the males, like in my experience. And even some males will coil up and find a spot to hide out in. But uh, when they're loose, you're not just going to see them stretched out completely. The snake's going to go seek a, an area where it feels most comfortable. And that's what she did. She went under there. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.